In the field of visualization and 3D rendering, mesh model is the gold standard. Almost every rendering engine uses the mesh model or converts other geometry types into meshes for rendering. Although Rhino is a NURBS surface modeler often used for modeling accurate geometries, it uses polygon meshes created from those surfaces for visualization purposes. Grasshopper can visualize meshes by assigning colors to vertices to create a color gradient across the mesh or by assigning specific colors to individual faces. Let's explore both methods. Take this example, where we have a mesh with 12 vertices displayed using default preview settings. Use the Mesh Colors option to customize the preview. Use the example mesh as input, Disable preview for every other component in the definition except the mesh colors option, change the viewport setting to render type, and notice that mesh appears in a random green shading. This is due to the default color input of a list of eight colors. Replace this input with a list of colors. This list should be equal to the list of vertices and must have a color corresponding to each vertex on the list. The example mesh has 12 vertices. To create a list of 12 colors, you can assign the colors manually using the color swatch. The mesh colors option assigns a color to each vertice as per index and then interpolates color between connected vertices, creating a color gradient across the mesh. For example, index 0 is white, index 1 is blue, index 4 is green, index 5 is violet. The resulting face has a color gradient based on the color assigned to these vertices. To create a list of 12 random colors, use the color wheel option with the number of colors as input to generate a list of 12 random colors. This is a quick way to create a list of random colors and is especially helpful with meshes with high vertex count when creating a manual list of colors is tedious. However, the resultant color output is entirely random. To create a list of colors with a certain harmony, use the gradient option or vertex normals as color input. Use the X, Y, or Z coordinates of the vertices to create a list of numbers to generate a color gradient. Choose one of the gradients preset or customize the colors. Use the colors as input and notice the change resulting mesh with a smooth gradient shading. To use the vertex normals as color inputs, use the deconstruct mesh to extract them and use them as color inputs. Mesh color's internal algorithm converts the vector values into color values and renders the mesh in a smooth gradient of colors corresponding to the vector direction. These are the four methods to create a list of colors to visualize mesh by vertex-based coloring. The other method to visualize a mesh is to assign colors to mesh faces. Use the Mesh Color option, and instead of using a single mesh as input, use the Explode Mesh option to extract each mesh face as an individual mesh. Then generate a list of colors equal to the number of faces. Connect this list of color and individual face mesh to mesh colors to render the mesh facewise. Remember to graft both lists to ensure a single color is assigned to each face. This visualization method is used in simulations and fabrication data corresponding to each face is represented using a color value. 
For example, a radiation analysis represents total solar radiation on each face using colors corresponding to the legend. In strip morphology, face colors help identify individual strips. In the next chapter, we will combine all mesh modeling functions to create an animated mesh blob.